Hello, Cut a Hate fifth grade cello and bass players. Uh, this is Mrs. Bunkowski here with a video uh, of scales for you to practice along with. Um, Mrs. Schmidt put together some spring concert music for you. You have your essential elements book that you should be working in. Uh, but I thought it'd be fun for you to play along with me on a couple other things uh, in the next few weeks uh, and do this through some YouTube videos. Uh, so we're going to do our D scale with three different rhythms today. Uh, and you can do one rhythm today with me and do another one tomorrow. Uh, or you could do all three. It takes about five minutes uh, to get through this video today. Uh, however you want to practice. Um, as always, if you're struggling with your instrument, it's really out of tune, you think something's not quite right, or you have questions about things, please ask your parents to email us and we're going to do everything we can to keep you playing uh, and keep you progressing in these next uh, couple months or however long until the end of the school year. So bass players, I'm so sorry, I don't have a bass at home to show you how to play these scales, but you should know your D scale. We've been doing this for a long time now. Uh, so you can play along with me. Just obviously our fingers are going to be looking a little different because I'm on a cello right now. Uh, but the rhythms will be the same. The notes will be the same. You'll do great. All right. So we're going to start off with just reviewing the D uh, string notes, D scale notes, right? So for cellos, you're going to be starting on your open D string, right? The second highest string. And then you have your E first finger, your F sharp third finger, your fourth finger G, and then the same thing on the A string, your first finger B, C sharp, and your high D. Then we'll come on back down to C sharp, down to B, open A, and then your G, F sharp, E, and then finally your open D. Alright, so for my bass players, you guys are also going to start on your D, of course, but then you have your first finger, fourth finger for F sharp, your open G string, in this case a G, your first finger for A, then your fourth finger for B, then you're going to shift up to that C sharp second finger, and then your fourth finger D. Come back the same way, high D, C sharp, shift back to your B, A, open G, F sharp, E, and D. And again, if you forget those notes, just go back in your book and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so here's our D scale then with our three different rhythms. The first one we're going to do is a blueberry rhythm. So blueberry, think long, short, short, okay, or think in your head, blueberry. All right, so we're going to do one blueberry per note of the scale going up and then coming right back down. All right, so let's try this together. I'll count it off. Blueberry, ready, play.
You can make up your own different rhythms for your scales. You could do quarter notes in any number. Uh, you can make up your own words or a sentence. For example, we had tacos for dinner last night. So you could do a rhythm that goes, I like tacos, whatever you would like to do. Uh, so keep practicing, keep playing, and again, keep in touch and let us know if we can help you out with